Hello, I am Theocrates. Today I am conducting a workshop on how students can mix up their practice as an effective learning strategy that helps students retain learning material better. Let us start with our learning objectives for today's workshop. At the end of this workshop, learners will be able to describe different learning strategies that help retain learned materials and apply effective learning strategies to retain learned materials. Mass practice is a strategy that involves learning a lot of materials or intense training for a short period of time. It is advised that it is not as an effective learning strategy as many people believe it is, and they use it a lot as a main way of studying. Cramming, one of the most utilized form of math practice, is one of the most effective learning strategies because a learner is prone to likely forget what was taken in after a short time. That is, retaining is a problem. Retrieval practice is rated as the most effective learning strategy among the known learning strategies available. Retrieval practice is a learning strategy that enhances learning by focusing on getting information out of students' heads. For example, quizzes, clickers, flashcards, etc. As opposed to focusing on getting information in, for example, cramming, lecturing, rereading, taking notes, etc. Retrieval practice is a learning strategy whose methods of bringing material to the learner's brain improves and enhances learning. In the process, intentionally, recalling materials makes learners to retrieve the information out and test themselves of what they know. The learner tries to recall materials from his or her mind without looking at the materials. For example, when studying traffic signal design, a learner can do retrieval practice attempting to outline the design process without looking at the lecture notes or textbook. In essence, retrieval practice as a learning strategy insists on practice practice and practice, which means practice makes perfect. Research evidences reveal that distributed practice, a learning strategy that uses shorter and less intense sessions, has shown to have impact on students' learning and retention. Scientific evidences show that the most effective learning strategy that strengthen memory and builds habit strengthening involves spacing out student studies, studying in small pieces back and forth. Interleaving, practice studying by switching between the subjects or topics and varied mixed practice, frequently changing tasks. In this section, I'm discussing strategies that help learners learn better and improve their abilities to retain materials. In order for students to be successful in their studies, they are advised to utilize the retrieval learning practices that allow them to use different learning strategies. We encourage students to utilize varied and mixed up different learning strategies that have shown to help students retain learned and taught materials better. Varied practice, or mixed practice as it is sometimes called, helps learners to strengthen their memory and build habit strengthening. It involves a practice where a learner uses learning schedule that includes frequent changes of topics, subjects, or studying methods so that the learner is constantly meeting different challenges of learning materials. Studying by spacing learning 
tasks out of a certain time, let's say 30 minutes every day for 7 days instead of a 4 hour cooling study session, must practice. A learner will learn more materials with the ability to retain them longer. In other words, the practice of spacing out is a learning strategy of studying in instruments, piecemeal or studying in small pieces back and forth, where a learner allows time to pass by between the studies, which makes learning become effective and strengthens the learner's memory. Interleaving strategy, which is one of the one form of retrieval practice is to practice studying by switching between subjects or topics. During interleaving, a learner can switch studies between two or more subjects, which also generates a form of spacing. Cognitive psychologists recommend that when practicing interleaving, a learner does not have to wait to complete studying a full set of one topic or module to another one. Rather, switch between each topic module is completed, which contributes well to the retrieval process. Let's say if you are reviewing topics on tra transportation engineering course, it would be better to practice alternating between topics. For example, highway design topic and another topic, let's say signal design, during one study session instead of entirely concentrating on one topic at a time, such as practicing on your one topic on the first day and the other on the second day. Learning experts assert that interleaving practice improves the brain's ability to distinguish between concepts with a benefit of strengthening memory associations. associations. The retrieval practice that involves spacing, interleaving, and the variability strategies reflects or follows the natural process that people conduct their lives. For example, for an engineer, every design project is a test, which brings up an implementation of retrieval practice. For example, a new roadway design project is a test for an engineer. Every roadway project is unique and different, which adds new experience and knowledge to the engineer's memory, which will make him or more effective in the future by retrieving and using the accumulated knowledge when designing and executing new products. Specific examples of effective strategies for students when studying include study in short instruments, that is changing topics and the subjects when studying, using flashcards to improve their recording capabilities, creating their own quiz questions and answering them. Learning concepts, factual knowledge, and making judgment as opposed to simply memorizing facts, that is, factual knowledge. Utilizing the power of spacing and interleaving strategies, and etc. Here are some references that you can consult for further information. Thank you for listening.